Hello everyone, welcome to Shabu's Kitchen. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to accurately measure your ingredients using measuring cups and spoons. So let's get started. So as you can see, these are the cups which start from 1 cup to 1 fourth cup and then comes the spoons. So one way which people generally follow is that they fill their ingredient in the cup and they make a heap out of it like how I'm showing in the video and that way your measurement will always be uh, inaccurate and that is absolutely wrong. The right method is to level your ingredient using a knife and this way you will have a correct measurement which is one cup. So another wrong method which people generally do is uh, they try to put their ingredient uh, in the cup and then they push it back and try to fill more of the ingredient especially when it is a dry ingredient like flour which is again wrong. You won't have an accurate measurement with it. For all of you to understand better, I am going to be showing you in grams. So one cup of your ingredient is like 150 gram or you can also see it in ml which is 250 ml. So whatever the size of the cup is, make sure you don't heap it off and you always flatten it. And always remember that dry ingredients should be measured using flat cup measures and ingredients should always be leveled. This one is half cup and it is of 75 grams as you can see. Now coming to the spoons, this is one tablespoon which is one tbsp and the same rule applies to the spoons as well just like cups. You should always flatten it with a knife without making a heap of the ingredient. Talking about the measuring spoons, there are two types. Tablespoons which is 1 TBSP and half TBSP and then comes the smaller sizes which are teaspoons like 1 TSP, half TSP and 1 fourth TSP. So this is all for today's video. I hope you all had some information about the measuring cups and spoons and make sure you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.